An 11th person in the United States has died from the coronavirus. coronavirus. Infections in the U.S. now stands at more than 83,000. Thousands have died. NBA is suspending the season. Some schools have temporarily closed. Many districts in states across the country sent students home. They could continue teaching remotely through the end of the school Schools should stay closed during the coronavirus outbreak. We direct a statewide order for people to stay at home. Today I am officially declaring a national emergency. Coronavirus. 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 This is a global pandemic. Dear Class of 2020, None of us expected our senior year to turn out like this. It's really easy to find reasons to be sad, disappointed, or even angry about the situation and everything that's let us down. But you know what? This year is still our year. Look, we've gone through 12 whole years of education to get here. That's crazy. Can you believe that? It feels like only yesterday, when we were still in elementary school, honestly living our best lives. The good old days. We were pretty cute. But before we knew it, we were awkwardly stretching our way through puberty and suddenly freshmen in high school. Let me hear you fight! Ah! Great trickly here we are. It was a little scary at first, but high school became our home. We stuck with old friends, but we also made a whole lot of new ones. We spent these past few years forming lifelong friendships with the people around us. And though we hate to admit it, we liked school. Well, at least the fun parts. We always looked forward to screaming at our lungs during our class cheer-offs, dressing up with our groups and taking tons of pictures during homecoming and other spirit weeks, and supporting our sports teams at home and away games. Countless memories were made, and there was never a boring moment when we were all going out to represent the class of 2020. We all found our niches. Each one of us is so incredibly talented in things we love to do. We competed in marching band, guard, dance and cheer. We spent hours practicing out on the fields or in the water, not knowing what we would do without our athletic trainer, making sure we were healthy and ready for game day, where our blood, sweat, tears, and endless hard work were always rewarded in the end. Aside from sports, we performed in the auditorium for choir, orchestra, plays, and musicals and also busted some sweet dance moves to showcase the diversity of our culture. We also had a ton of extracurriculars like FBLA, mock trial, aerospace, cultural honor societies, and countless other groups and activities, both on and off campus. We also grew up. We left behind those cringy freshman years and started to mature from awkward kids into responsible young adults, looking to find our places in our community. We became more involved on campus, whether it was by taking on leadership roles as captains and officers of sports teams, clubs, organizations, and cabinets, or by participating in Spirit Week activities and competitions. We also got our driver's licenses, which finally meant going out to eat, road trips, our first jobs, and starting to get a feel for what it's like to be independent and make it on our own. Our relationships with each other grew even stronger every morning marking the beginning of a brand new day to spend laughing, smiling, and making memories. And even though we didn't get to go to prom this year, we got to go last year. Well, most of us. But remember that day? Putting on the dresses we spent hours looking for, getting our hair and makeup done, looking clean in our suits, and finally learning how to tie a tie. With each one of us looking and feeling our absolute best, we went somewhere beautiful to take pictures, laughing about the fact that we might have taken a couple of wrong turns on our way to our photo shoots. Then we waited in the huge line to get into the dance. And once we were inside, we might have sweat and moshed a little too hard. We didn't know it then, but every minute in that ballroom, trampled or not, was so worth it. Pretty soon, we're all going separate ways and we don't know how long it will be before we see each other again. But one day in 10, 20, or even 50 years, 
When we're looking through our high school pictures and our spouses and kids ask us where we are or who we're with, we're not going to go on about the coronavirus. We're going to tell them about our high school. We'll happily talk about all the cool places we went and the things we love to do. We'll pass down our stories and traditions and finally be able to use that back in my day card that's always being pulled on us. We'll fondly remember those trips to our favorite coffee places, cramming all night for the tests we probably should have been preparing for earlier, the endless projects we had to do for our classes, always paying attention to our teachers, of course, goofing around during practice, the game-winning play against our rival school, our late-night runs to go get snacks, and road trips to the beach or the city with the music blaring and the windows down. We'll tell our family about all the amazing people we met along the way who ended up becoming the main characters in the stories of our crazy teenage lives. We'll show them pictures of our best friends, remembering how each person helped us grow into the people we are today. They were always there with us to celebrate our achievements, comfort us in times of need, and either hype us up or record our spontaneous and sometimes kind of crazy decisions. Today is the first day of the rest of our lives. There's a lot of uncertainty about what will happen in both the near and the distant future. But what we do know is that our sense of community is what gets us through everything. Now, more than ever, we're finding new ways to connect with our friends, our family, and our community. Because the bonds we have with each other are too strong to be broken by physical separation. As our last year of high school comes to a close, the final lesson we're taking away is that we need to appreciate every possible moment we can get with the people we love because we never truly know how much we have until things start to change. Understandably, things might seem hopeless at times, but that's just one perspective. Move forward, being grateful for everything you have and always trying to find the sweet things in life, even if it's just a phone call. And hey, keep your head up. Crack that beautiful smile. Look where you are! Be proud of all that you've accomplished and the future ahead of yourself that you still get to write. Class of 2020, congratulations! You made it. We all made it. Together. Together.